We live right here on the farm. We're always here. We like to say we never leave work. We can never just close the door and walk away for the day. There's always something to do. I mean, it's, um, I think it's more so a piece of not being, not the difference between conventional and a pasture-based system, but just the difference in being a dairy farm versus a row crop farmer. We're a 600 cow organic dairy uh, located on the Eastern shore, right off the Chesapeake Bay. We farm about 1,400 acres, all certified organic. This is a balance of row crop acres and then pasture lands. We were actually approached to transition our dairy to certified organic um, because we had certified, certified organic row crop acres and um, that transition on row crop acres is three years. And um, for the dairy, we were able to do one, a one-time whole herd, one-year transition. We actually started our transition in spring of 2016 and became certified in spring of 2017. The real motivator there were economic reasons. We, we had an opportunity um, to secure a higher milk price and a long-term contract for that milk, which was attractive and it was in an area that we were comfortable in. We had been doing organic row crop production for over 20 years, and so this was sort of the next logical evolution of the business to transition the dairy as well. We've got about 260 acres of pasture just here on the home farm. Of that, about 220 of it is permanent pasture, and the balance in the 40 plus acres, it varies a little bit. That piece falls into our crop rotation each year and is planted behind cover crop after we're harvesting it for feed. When you look at fields that had historically been in row crop production and now they're in pasture, when we have these large rain events that we've been seeing. That pasture allows for that water to be utilized right there as opposed to creating large runoff areas. The rain that drops an inch of rain in 30 minutes. So that permanent pasture is pretty significant because it's in place year round. And that's been a big change, especially in an organic system where in row crop we depend so heavily upon tillage. Uh, we don't see those same type of sediment and topsoil losses. 